just waking up. Well, I woke up probably 30, 40 minutes ago. I always wake up at like 6 a.m. And then by the time that I go back to sleep and wake up again, like for real, for real, it's like 9 or 10. And I know people are always like, oh, I wish I could live that life. But I feel like I literally missed like so much like I feel like I could have been up I could have went on a run which is why running on the track last night didn't happen like I could have done that early in the morning anyways I just um let's get some light in here I just made some breakfast I'll show you actually I'm eating the hard-boiled eggs from yesterday no yolk well, there's a little yolk in that one because I couldn't get it out. And then some oatmeal. And then I'm going to edit some YouTube footage because I'm trying to get these videos. And then after that, um, hopefully I'll have thought of something to do workout-wise for today. What else? What else? What else? There was something else. Oh, I need to set up my bills on automatic pay for when I'm gone at school and then I have some paperwork I need to fill out and get faxed for my GI Bill for school so pretty much the same thing as yesterday it kind of feels like but I had somebody come through with um, some land navigation training so Hopefully tomorrow I can get some footage of it. So we're on the way to where my friend works. He works full. Okay. He works full time for the National Guard. So we're on our way up there. I don't know why I didn't just record that, but um, it's hard to remember. But I just totally bought fireworks, which I haven't done in a really long time. But I am going to make at least one video. My face is so oily. Like, my skin is ridiculous right now because it's freaking hot outside. But I am just getting to Hobby Lobby. We're going to go return some stuff and then I'm actually, I have not been in a freaking Kmart in forever, but I'm about to go in there because of my oily skin. I really want to try that new L'Oreal foundation that everybody on YouTube is freaking out about. I just want to see if it works for someone with skin like mine. So let's go exchange this stuff. Okay, so I finally made it out successfully. Turn down this air a little so you can hear. I ended up getting fireworks to do the one 4th of July video that I'm gonna do because like I just wouldn't feel like myself if I didn't do it. But I'm gonna quickly haul this shit for you guys so you guys can see. Excuse my language, sorry, it just came out. Um, I bought some oil absorbing sheets from Target. I just bought the Up and Up brand because honestly, I don't really see a difference between that and like the good stuff. Um, so I'm going to try using those because I know there's no way that I'm not going to be a little bit oily. Uh, I also bought these wet ones because I really needed something in my damn gym bag. Uh, like when I get done, I just, sometimes my face feels dirty and then I realize I've been like touching stuff that other people touched and then touching my face and I don't even like using the towels at the gym because other people use them and I'm so prone to acne. So... I'm gonna start using those um, when I get done working out and then I had to buy some more makeup removing wipes which I always just get the brand uh, whatever be it Walmart or Target I always just get whatever the brand is that replicates the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes because my eyeliner is actually supposed to be waterproof it's the Mac the Mac eyeliner whatever that one black what is it? Line something? I don't fucking know, but they pissed me off because I paid probably $18 for that and it is supposed to be waterproof, but like if you look at this eye, it's like smudged like terribly. So it ain't waterproof. Um, I picked up the Infallible Pro Matte because everybody's been raving about how great it is for oily skin, so it better be. It better be good on my skin the only problem that I could really see is I was a bad person and I wasn't about to buy 
more than one color to have to bring it back because I live so far away. And I opened and tested this on my skin first, but I ended up buying it, so judge me. But hopefully it works out well. I had it on this arm, but I opened one of my I opened one of my um, wipes and wiped wiped it off because it was getting all over my little clutch. And then I found this freaking blush palette from e.l.f. Of course, of course I couldn't just walk in there and get what I came for. I had to look at all of it. And, oh, if you were wondering, Kmart just didn't have shit. So, I, now I know why, I, I continue to learn the reason why I don't, don't go there ever. Uh, but they had these blush palettes and they actually had, this is the dark one, which is the colors that I'm really into now. Um, like, I mean, I don't really see a difference between like this one. I have Seduction by NARS and it is, this looks exactly like it. Like I might have to do a comparison video because those blushes like look exactly like NARS because they also had a light palette, which I almost bought. But I've been using my dark colors so much that I was like, I'm not going to spend money on something that I know that I won't use. So I bought this. It's a L'Oreal Infallible. It says it's 16 hour wear and it's actually an eyeliner pencil and I wanted blue, like a bold blue. And this is the first one that I've seen. It's cobalt blue. And I'm definitely going to wear that on 4th of July because I've wanted a legitimate blue eyeliner for forever. And then I just re-upped on my NYX matte. My NYX matte. It says it's matte finish, Fini matte. Long lasting. I wonder if they changed the consistency because I don't know if this stuff expires, but clearly it hasn't been working on my face. I don't look oily now because this is what I did. I don't have my purse with me and I had to blot my face with a damn napkin because it was so embarrassing that there was no way I could have gone into that store which speaking of which this is still effing embarrassing how smudged out my, like I look like I've been crying no bitch I'm just oily like I oh let me just rant this out to you guys okay so I am about to seriously sit down and make a video pretty much bitching about it I don't care I just need to have like bitch out videos because if you guys follow me on snap you know that I don't give I don't give two flips on there I will say whatever I gotta say even if it offends people that I have on snap I don't care if you don't like what I have to say I'm just at a point in my life that if you don't like it and you don't agree with me then you don't have to be my friend like you don't have to talk to me I don't care because I have the people that I need in my life so anyways the little girl who just checked me out at Target was like kind of just staring at me the whole time that I was standing in line waiting and then she finally goes to check me out. I'm like swiping my card and she goes, are you mixed? And I looked up at her and okay, she was clearly mixed as well. And I was like, yep. And then I kept doing whatever I was doing and she was like, oh, I'm mixed too. Like after a like 30 second pause of us not talking I yepped you because that's disrespectful like who raised people to think that it's okay I don't care if you're mixed and I'm mixed it's still not okay for you to ask me it's not okay for a white person to ask me it's not okay for a black person to ask me it's not okay for anybody to come up to you not knowing you and and ask those type of questions like first of all if you're gonna ask the proper way would be what, I was just curious, what is your ethnicity? Like, that wouldn't offend me as bad as saying, are you mixed? Like, I don't know what it is, but I just, I don't get offended, but I feel some type of way about it because I'm like, who are you to me to ask me what I am? This guy next to me probably like, who's she talking to? But I just had to get that out because I don't like that. Like, I would never, my parents did not raise me to think it's okay to walk up to anybody and be like, what are you or what are you mixed with or like I was taught to treat people how you would like to be treated and I would like to not get asked what I am constantly I just I just think it's disrespectful when you don't know me I'm clearly never gonna see you again in my life like 
there's just certain questions in my opinion that you don't ask and that's one of them and I can literally tell you in the last two years of my life I've probably been asked that question probably 500 times like there's days where I get asked multiple times in one day when I was in Afghanistan I got asked multiple times every day like do people not have other shit to concern themselves with let me just stop because I'm gonna just keep cussing more and more because it just pisses me off so yeah but besides that some other girl told me that I looked beautiful today and I was like that's that's the type that's the type of positivity that we need in the world because if I see a girl and I think she looks prettier if I see another female doing some type of something that I think is just great I'm gonna compliment her on it and these girls who just walk around hating on every other female because they have something they want or they look a certain way like or like the people who just walk around judging all the time and constantly being unhappy like go on you have unhappy self somewhere else because I'm po I'm trying to be positive and for you to bash on another female like bashing on other females is just not cool I'm I'm done I'm done ranting we're about to go home and I'm gonna go do some fitness stuff so I'm gonna drive home and then just let you know what I end up doing for a workout sorry for that craziness but I just had to let it all out, you know. You know. I hope, I hope it's back to the car we go. Cause we didn't go do a workout. And yeah, workout didn't happen today. The family needs food and we don't have any groceries. So it all isn't sunshine and rainbows around here. I'm being really negative right now. We are on the way to Sonic. And we are getting food for the family. I don't know what I'm getting yet, but I feel like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. My armpits be looking dark as fuck right now. If I'm gonna eat be there and be getting Then I'm going to get it and I'm going to enjoy it. Why you over there looking? Got a staring problem, you Hold Here you go. Here's a long bag of food and your chicken dinner right there. Okay. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. That Sonic ride legit just took like fucking 20 minutes to do so i just finished dinner and i'm getting ready to take off makeup and take a shower really quick and then i have to fill out my damn paperwork for rotc and then that's probably all i'm gonna do tonight edit my last few videos so that i can spend what time I need to only focusing on my 4th of July video and then that's about it I didn't work out today I feel really bad about it but some days you need days off anyways so I'm not gonna let it get to me and tomorrow's a new day